Disbursements consist of physical checks, ACH transactions, and other electronic postings depending on what the default payment type is on the associated vendor record. You cannot create a disbursement in the disbursement interface. You must first use the payable interface to query the outstanding invoices and post a disbursement against them. Please refer to the payables video for more information on how to post disbursements. When a disbursement is created in payables, each disbursement, regardless of type, whether it's a check, ACH, or electronic, is automatically assigned a reference number. This is not a check number. If your disbursement requires a check number, you must first assign the check number in disbursements. You can use the filter row in the grid to find the disbursement. The printable column means this is the type of disbursement that can be printed, which is basically your physical check types. It will display true for this check type. ACH and electronic types currently do not require a physical check number. The printable column will automatically display false for these. So if you're trying to find physical check disbursements, you can filter the data using entering true in the printable header row. If you want to modify the columns displayed on your grid, you can click on the More option to make changes. And you can also move your columns around um, in order to sort them in a different way. I moved the printable, the printable was way off to the right, and I moved it over next to the vendor name so that I can see it a little bit better. So once I find my disbursement, I'm going to check mark the box on the left and click on Print Batch. So if I want to print a check, physical check for Office Max, I'm going to check mark this. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Print Batch. Um, before I do that, if I want to see more details about this check, I can click on the View option here, and it will allow me to see the details um, regarding the purchase order and um, invoice tied to this disbursement. So at this point then, I've got this check mark. I'm going to click on Print Batch. And it's going to bring up a little menu here, prompting me for an output type and a starting check number. My output types include XML or a PDF version. XML will allow me to use this print file with a third-party printing software. The PDF will save a copy of the check in generic format for now. You can, so I'm going to go ahead and select XML. Then you can also enter a starting check number or leave it blank and it will automatically assign the next check number on file. Uh, just a note too, the check stub information is set up in the module configuration option under the admin menu. So after I select my output type and my uh, check number, then what I can do is click on print. And depending on how my browser is working, um, it may save that file, that XML file, to a folder. It might prompt me where to save it, or it may automatically save it on my desktop. So next, I'm going to cancel out of that so I can tell you about the rest of the options and the disbursements. Um, for existing disbursements, you do have the option to resequence physical checks, void them, reprint them, reconcile, or unreconcile. To resequence, you're going to enter, I'll go ahead and click on that. You're going to enter the original start and ending physical check numbers, and then enter the new starting number. If you want the old checks to be voided, check mark the void old checks. By check marking this, the old checks will stay in the system with a voided status. If you don't check mark this, it will allow you to reuse the old check numbers. You can validate the resequencing first. If the validation is error free, you can then proceed with posting them. You can then search for those newly resequenced checks on the grid. The void will allow you to um, void checks. You first must query and select them first. So I will have to go and check mark the checks that I want to void. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of take you through an example. So if I click on Office Max and then I click on void, and then you can decide. Um, you enter in your void date, and then you can also decide um, if you're going to cancel the invoice by checking void invoice items. This works um, classic, like classic void check program. Or you can leave this unchecked 
to reuse the invoice. If reusing the invoice, a new payable will be created automatically. And you click on confirm and you'll receive an information box stating the checks that have been voided. It will automatically update the status of the check then on the grid to void. Reconciling will reconcile the checks on the system. For now, you must first select the check that you want to reconcile. So at this point, like I said, you can only manually reconcile checks. The redesign will eventually have the capability to automatically mass reconcile checks like the classic AutoRec program. You can also um, sort or filter by status or check number range to select checks to reconcile. So using this filter, filter row, you can do that. Once you um, select the checks that you want to reconcile, or if you want to reconcile them all, you can click on the top box here. Um, then you click on the reconcile option. And you're going to enter in a reconciliation date. It automatically updates the status to reconciled and displays the reconciliation date in the reconcile column on your grid. Unreconcile will basically reverse this out. You again, select the checks you want to unreconcile and click on the unreconcile option. It automatically changes the status back to outstanding and removes the reconciliation date. This completes the options available in the disbursement program.